hi guys welcome to another exciting episode of my youtube channel um i'm very sure a lot of you are team fit fam so if you have been looking at cutting down your oil food intake i'm here to show you how to grill chicken so we are starting off with our washed chicken and that is our onion then we we'll spice our chicken up with um we have um thyme that is thyme that is curry then salt that's little salt then the bouillon cubes and bay leaf the next step is to add all this into our chicken and i'm sure you realized i didn't add so much salt so you get to know i didn't add so much salt um as you keep watching the video so next step is to mix all this with spatula or your clean washed hand mix very well and marinate make sure you mix very well very well and marinate for like five minutes um or thereabouts depending on how much time you have in your hands but i marinated mine for five minutes just cover it and leave for five minutes for everything to soak in so one of the reasons i didn't use so much salt was because that particular brand of salt i use is um russian salt and russian salt catches very fast so you know we don't want our chicken to be too salty and because we still have some spices we'll add later so i just did that so now our chicken is ready to be boiled after marinating for five minutes and here it is boiling so i allowed it to boil for another seven to ten minutes before bringing it out so this is what the chicken will look like most likely half done now it's time to whip out our yaji this is yaji or suya pepe as most people call it but if you don't have that you can as well use your paprika yeah paprika grinded pepe like we call it in nigeria and you just add to this is our chicken i put everything out to i sieved out the chicken broth so that we'll be able to spice it up with the suya pepe so yes so next step is to add the yaji so this was me trying to roll the chicken inside the yaji but i felt it was just too much time wasting i was just going to like my yaji won't be even then i had to switch and added the yaji into the chicken i poured it you can see me pouring it here and i had to juggle everything up like i juggled the chicken mixed with the yaji i mixed it very very well and i had to leave it for a while to soak up a bit for like two to three minutes after i added a little more extra because i felt this was not um enough for me so depending on how much pepper you eat if you don't eat so much pepper you can just add a little but i added more to this you're seeing here and i juggled for like three four three to four minutes and left to soak up a bit for a while you'll notice i didn't add ginger and garlic to my chicken when i was marinating or boiling it this is because um yaji contains a lot of ginger garlic so basically what the yaji contains is ginger garlic um salt maggi pepper and ground nuts like blended ground nuts depending on what you want in your yaji i added ground nuts to mine because i made mine myself so i'm trying to put all the chicken into the oven though i preheated my oven for like three to five minutes then i have everything on the rack now and i'm just going to slowly put everything into my oven so i had set my oven temperature to um between 200 and 220 degrees and i left it to um oven dry 60 to 80 minutes depending on how dry you want it it is looking all yummy and dry out of the oven i serve the fried rice and i'm ready to devour it thanks for watching see you next time please like share um turn on notification bell 
and subscribe to my channel thank you bye